Now let's uh, take some capture some video. Capture your video is uh, very easy. And first, I will disable here to capture the single file. And capture your video. You can click play to play your video on your video tape. Here you see the current type. Well, oh, I want to capture from here. You click the record button. So you want to OK stop in here. You can click stop. Now he will capture the video. He put a name here. And as the description scene, short take, lot note, you can put in here one by one manually. And you can click OK to accept it. It's now capture your video from your camcorder to your computer here. BG tape one AVI has the name here. And now you put another name zero one. And another way if you want you can set the in point as you play it during playing you can set the in point and out point. You want to get set the in point in here. So Okay, I'll put it here, you click it, you can stop it here. Now you have set an in point and out point. So the in point is from from 9 minutes 21 seconds and 0, 04 frame here to 9 minutes 26 seconds and 8 frame here. And the duration from the in point to out point here is 5 seconds and 5 frame. So you have set the input and output in here so you can click the uh, click here to capture from input to output you click it the video will go back go back to 9 9 minute 21 second and 4 frame before then before 2 second then and play it back play it back at normal time and on this uh, import, they will capture the video and finish capturing in here as the out point. Now it is it, the LED capture the video clip name here at the zero one in here. Description like this you can put it. Click OK to accept it now. And for the tape in here, if you just click it, you will capture the video from the current uh, current time here up up to the end or your video tape so you can just click it to capture it from here from this current time to the end in here I will stop it I will stop it because uh, too long for capturing so when you want to capture your video you can uh, click the tape button here to capture all your video from your video tape. You click OK, take it. And most of the time, as I do get, most of the time I rewind the, rewind the video to the beginning of the tape and click the tape button to capture the video. So I go out and after one hour, I come back to here and check it if the capture properly. Most of the time, that's okay for me because the hard disk, the transfer rate, they have no problem in my computer in here. So I can click, reply the tape to the beginning, click tape button and go out for some, uh, do something, come back one hour after. And here, and here I talk about the typo here for locking, locking your clip. When you're locking many clips in here, so you can capture it at once as a batch capturing. Like the one, if you know your video tape, you can set it, click it, and set the time in here. For example, if you know the video you are going to capture, for example, in 2 minutes, 15, 15 seconds, and oh, 2 minutes, 2 minutes, 15 seconds, and 2 frame as the in point and out point you can set it in uh, for the demonstration I can put it very short as few sec few seconds only so I put it 2 minutes 20 seconds and 
show six frame here only five seconds and five frame here and you click lock clip to lock the clip here the net you can change it for description like this you can make it on click ok now this you lock uh, all life line as you do you can set the all life line in this way here you can set the all life line audio or video you want to uh, capture that from the tape the table name here you can type in here the finance in here description all of this the media star media end and the duration from the media start to end so you can make it in here so in here i just show you locking the, the clip same thing i say you do if you uh, click play during click during the playing you can lock the clip for example you want to set it as uh, set in so you set in from here then set out so lock it this one so you will use a lock a lock a clip or like clip in here so it's uh, continue playing okay in here you click here okay stop in here that's another file and click lock clip another one in here and you will continue play here so you can lock your clip during playback okay we click stop in here to stop it and we have one two three three or like five in here a lock file and like this if you want you can close it and if you want to capture it now you can right click and touch capture to capture the video and here they show you capture with handle so in the capture file here they have not specified the handle so in here you can specify the handle that means from the file in here you want how many frame for the set the input and output that's the one i set it just uh, five frame because the clip in here i know it is not too long five frame okay for the handle frame that means for the set the input and output on the clip in here and override for the capture setting you can enable here and select the uh, format in here so you can override here and here i will disable it because they are the same i don't need to uh, override here and here enable handle frame and click ok now this will open the uh, open the capture panel and and you will tell me Please insert the tape Botanic Garden tape 01 as I type in here the tape name and I will put the, the table input to my camcorder and click OK to capture again and the tape is already in my camcorder as you you follow me you know it okay, and click OK now the computer the capture the capture panel made the uh, made my camcorder go back as the first one i forget is about two minute 15 second yeah, at the position so it go back to two minute 15 second and some free so it's starting capturing now about about five seconds five seconds long now this one has been captured and the second one is nine about nine nine minutes and some uh, second in, in there as the beginning and they go to nine minutes okay nine minutes okay start capturing in here this is about six for 10 minutes I think okay finish this one okay we call another one check it here okay now they have finished capturing three clips in here have been captured click OK to accept it now let's take a look at the capture file you double click it you double click it open into the source panel you check it 
use the video, the movie file has been captured in my computer. They have no handle phrase here. That means they have not set the in point and out point. This one, this one also about this same thing. They have not set the in point and out point. Okay, let's check about this. Here you see, as you set the handle phrase as a uh, as five five phrase, and they set the in point in here and out point in here, both from beginning to to the uh, to the in point is five second long, five phrase long. Same thing at the end in here. Here to the end is five phrase long. This is the handle phrase you set it. This one same thing. In here. here, you see. Okay, let's check about the scene detect. The scene detect when you enable it, they will automatically separate the clip from your video based on the time the time change on your video tape. Now we come back to to the beginning. I know that at the beginning I just uh, may click record, stop, record, stop, record, stop. I know get very free country. So they have a lot of they have a lot of video that I capture them. Okay, at the beginning. I click table, enable the scene detect. If you want, you can set the handle phrase in here. Okay, I set it as a child phrase, as a handle phrase. Enable scene detect and click tape button to start capturing. Here, this is the beginning of a little one here. And here, you check it here scene capturing. This is the, the file name going to capture. Press as page to stop recording. Capture duration. Capture duration here. Drop fade. Zero fade. That means no drop fade. Perfect. Remaining this space in the about 113 gigabytes. About, about 10 hours for the video capture. The available space in my in my uh, driver that I specify in in the setting there here. Now you see they separate the clip as they detect the scene from the video here and separate the the clip. Here you see. Okay, let's stop it. Now, this is almost how you use your capture panel to capture your video. And this is the, the movie file. And as you see, you if you want, you can just capture the audio or just the video. So I show you some uh, something. Click capture. Up. Here you see only the audio is fine. And if you select video here, capture, stuck it here. See only the video. If you select both, they capture both the audio and video. And here the capture setting, you have a little uh, see then here. Same thing as you open it from here, capture. And also there is something about the preference in here, press this for your video, for the location for your capture your video and audio, you can specify here. Now you see, as I make it from the setting, press setting here as a consumer, 
capture location as in my driver E, my first project in my my movie folder in here, audio and video, the location change. And also for the device control, here you can specify from here or from the settings there. Option, below type, title or set. And capture here. I have enable capture, above capture on drop frame. And here, if they have drop frame, report, report a drop frame, generally, generally a batch log file only on unsuccessful completion. That means when I a batch capture my 1, 2, 3, 3 file, if they have problem capturing the file, they will generally a log file and show me which file has not capture that properly and the use device control and here I have a mini DV camcorder so I use the title from my video tape so I don't need to use the device control to assign a title on the video okay now this is how you use the capture panel to capture your video from your mini DV and if you have another kind of or hardware installed in your computer, you can, you can, for example, if you have a Matrix RTX 100, so you can capture your analog video to your computer. And if you have a adjacent system, you can use the HD, SDI capture, like this serial device control, depend on your or capture device like the one in here I use my a mini DV camcorder for the video so I select DV and HDV device control here so this is how you use the capture panel to capture your video